Hello everybody, this is Jasmina and in this video I am going to talk about activating your resolve or activating your courage if you prefer. The two areas of the house to use are the one with the prosperity star and this is depends on your day master so it's a personal one uh, and the Chimen uh, tiger spirit location. These uh, can increase your self-confidence, improve your resolve, improve your courage. So these are quite powerful. The Prosperity Star helps you gain a stronger willpower and the desire to succeed, which in turn makes you more courageous. Using the Tiger Spirit, can do two things. It can give you more energy, but its downside is it could also lead to aggression. So this one has to be treated with a lot more care, but uh, this energy can be used to um, attack your goals. So if you're lacking energy, this can be a very good sector. Unfortunately, the spirit, the tiger spirit, really only occurs uh, in certain locations during the year, and the um, and it varies. I mean, it moves around. You've got one for the year, one for the month, one for the day, even one for the hour. But it is the year and the month that are easier to use because they stay in one place longer. Uh, it is not part of your residence's um, Chimen chart. The hook will be part of your residence's Chimen chart. And the hook and the tiger are related to one another. Uh, the, but they have different effects. They, the hook is more about manipulating others rather than increasing your courage. And in general is... Uh, one that you need to be a little careful with, because if you have a if you have a natural tendency to lie for some reason, like you don't even if you don't want to hurt other people's feelings, you end up hurting them more because your lies will snowball, kind of thing. Uh, you can if if you are working in marketing, this is a very dangerous sector because this can lead you to lie about the product and end up having your company um, lose out on, uh, uh, you know, they get sued because of your ad. You know, this is a very, very dangerous sector for certain activities. Uh, it's um, not something that you want to use on a regular basis, if you can help it. Now, your prosperity star, as I said, depends on your day master, and that's the heaven stem, which is an element in, on your day pillar. If you want to know the details, most people know this, but just want to be clear. So you just look up your day master, and this is where your prosperity star is located. And, uh, and you can see that it's sort of interesting. All the yang ones have the subsector of three, and all the yin ones have a subsector of two. And it's kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure why it's that way, but it is that way. So your animal sign here, listed here, this can refer to a subsector of your house or your residence, or it can refer to an animal sign that's in your batsa. So, for example, if you are Yang Wood and you have a tiger anywhere in your natal batsa, that is the year, month, day, or hour pillars, uh, you naturally have this ability uh, to have strong will. I mean, if you set your mind to something, you're going to get it done. That's just part of your general nature. Uh, if it's in your luck pillar, there will be 10 years when you have a, you're a lot tougher, you know, you have a lot more strong will. 
but before and after that, it will be it'll drop down to uh, whatever level is standard for you. Uh, in my case, I actually happen to have a Yang wood rabbit as my day pillar. So it is true. I, I when I set my mind to something, I get it done. Um, I can be pretty tough on myself uh, to to reach my goals. And but that's usually what it takes to succeed in life is you set yourself a goal and you make it happen. Now, the prosperity star can also bring you opportunities. And it and if you activate it, then you also have the willpower to get it done. So this is a pretty important chart. The best or the strongest this prosperity star subsector will be is when the month star four enters it. Now, it will also be quite strong when the year star four enters it, but it, um, it, it, uh, that one only occurs once every nine years. So that's not very common. But the month star, you're going to have at least one every year. So this is why we concentrate on the month star. And uh, then that month, this becomes very, very powerful. And so it, what we're looking for is what is the star in the center uh, of the month? And that's what I list here. So if you were Yangwood, you'd want to be in the tiger subsector during the month when the center star is one. That's how you read this chart. Now, if you already have this animal sign in your Batsa, you usually don't need to use this timing and location because you're naturally pretty resolved. But there are times when this can be very useful. And during clash years, uh, this can help you with resolve because uh, during clash years, uh, you tend to, everything tends to be toned down and, uh, and it can make it tougher to be resolved. Also, if you have a luck pillar clashing, especially with your month, which is, has to do with your career, uh, then you also can use this subsector because that will help you be tougher when it comes to work. And that's probably what you need uh, to, to make things work because you're probably going to have more problems when you have the clash. And you just have to work through them. Now, the tiger spirit is a bit different. This can give you more energy. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't a permanent sector in your house, uh, but you might find that during certain months, if you have a home gym, during certain months, you have more energy. I wouldn't be surprised that the tiger spirit has entered that sector. That is, is um, quite expected, actually. But depending on your circumstances and your general personality and your upbringing and past traumas, all this kind of stuff, the tiger sector can lead to aggression. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty uh, cautious sector to use uh, on a regular basis. It certainly isn't bad to use it occasionally, but this can cause some trouble. Now, the tiger spirit occurs during, in certain locations, you know, for the year, the month, the day, and the hour. And they'll be different oftentimes. But it won't be a permanent sector in your house or your residence. If you want to use this, you're going to have to have access to these Chimen charts. And uh, so you need to find a source for them uh, unless you want to go to the trouble of trying to calculate it. I wouldn't really recommend it. It's quite ugly. But uh, there is a compendium, a Chi Minh compendium that will tell you how to do it. Uh, it's a book by Joey Yap, but it's a very hard read. Uh, the easiest way to get it, I think, is through the Chinese Metasoft site. Uh, unfortunately, it's not free. Uh, but this website has a lot of really good information. It's got full BOTSA information, 
and all the different ways to look at it. It has the Chiman, um, and it has actually two different types of way of looking at your Chiman chart. It's, um, uh, it does also have your flying stars, but that's the only thing it has with your, um, uh, with your, your house's charts. It doesn't have any other chart for your house. Uh, you, Joey Yap also has books that cover these, but not the hour charts because they're even more complicated. Uh, but this one is, is uh, at least currently, is only $68 a year, where each one of these books costs more than that, and you still have to figure it out uh, exactly which chart applies to your current time. So it's a little bit more complicated. The yearly chart's the easiest. The month isn't too bad. The daily can get quite complicated. Uh, so I use this. Uh, this is the one I use. I use the Chinese Metasoft site because it's a lot easier to do. Now, if you have anger issues already, it's recommended that you don't use this sector because it can bring out the aggression. Uh, but it also brings out resolve. So if you're not, if you don't have trouble with anger issues, this is actually a pretty good sector. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact me here if you have any questions or visit my AdPriest website if you want more information. And uh, you can leave a comment too if uh, you'd rather do that than email me. And uh, but don't put any personal information in a comment because everybody can read it. I'd like to thank you again for watching.